Hey, it's good to see you. I'm sitting in a truck <laughs> and I'm dying because it's really hot. It's already about 90 degrees outside and I just vacuumed this truck out and uh, I'm sweaty. Um, but I wanted to tell you that I know several people have asked about the play button. I'll talk about the truck in a minute. Uh, several people have asked about my play button for the 100,000 subscribers. Um, I actually had to do a little research on that because I haven't gotten it. And apparently they don't just send it to you when you reach 100,000. It's not, I didn't know this, but it's not an automatic thing. Um, you kind of have to apply. Well, that's what, that's what I ended up having to do. I contacted YouTube and then they have to, there's a team that will review your channel and decide if you are eligible for a play button or not and it's not just based on how many subscribers you have um, apparently not everybody gets one depending on whether or not you meet their eligibility requirements so I started that process Thursday morning and then I found out actually found out really late last night that I have been approved and that the play button will be sent to me uh, they said it's going to take 8 to 12 weeks to arrive so we're, we're possibly looking at three months from now in the outlier like you know it could I don't I don't know could be could be three months <clears throat> but anyway it's on its way so it's very exciting I'm very excited about that and of course when I when I get it I'm definitely gonna show y'all the button the play button because that's really that's really great <laughs> because then see once you're approved you have to go they give you a link and then you have to go to this special website and you confirm your name address your, your mailing address uh, your channel name because they're gonna put they put it on the little plaques so you have to confirm that um, so you know there, there are several steps to the process they don't just automatically mail it to you when you hit a hundred thousand so, um, but anyway, that's, that's on its way. So that's really cool. But I didn't make a video last night because my dad and his wife came for a visit and we went out to eat and we visited and talked and then, you know, just, I just didn't get anything done last night, but that's okay. Cause I had, I had a good time with my family and I'm trying to make more time for them anyway. So we had a really good time, but here's what happened. I mean, this didn't just happen last night. This is something that I talked to my dad about earlier in the week. Um, he, uh, I don't know where to start with this. Okay, my dad doesn't like the fact that these days, at least in the United States, all you can get are these gigantic trucks. Like, you can't get a small truck in the United States anymore. Nobody makes a small truck anymore. And my dad doesn't like those great, big, beefy trucks. He just doesn't like him he doesn't want a big truck and he's had he's had a small truck at least my whole life I don't remember a time that he didn't have one for most of my childhood he had a white ranchero truck if you've ever seen the old rancheros <clears throat> uh, they were made by Ford they don't make them anymore but he had a ranchero truck for years and then he had an old um, an old Ford f-150 for several years and then in 1985, he bought a, his first Nissan pickup truck. And it was a little, just a little Nissan pickup truck. And he drove that thing for years and years and years. And he's had nothing but Nissan pickups. Well, let's see. He also has an old Mitsubishi pickup truck um, that he bought somewhere. And he's converted it. He's really good at mechanical stuff. He has converted this truck now to where it will run on just about anything. I don't know how he does this. He can actually run it on old cooking oil. It's the craziest thing, but it runs on gas, diesel, old cooking oil. You could just pr pretty much put anything in there and it will run. Um, it's like just a little project of his that he just did for fun. <laughs> so anyway, he likes, he likes the smaller trucks. Like you used to be able to get in the United States up until about early 2000s. And in the early 2000s, all the all the uh, manufacturers went to the larger size pickup trucks and I have a million dollar idea if anybody out there would make a smaller pickup truck you'd make you'd make a fortune you would you would have so many customers you wouldn't you wouldn't be able to meet the demand for the smaller trucks because nobody makes them so anyway <laughs> he found 
the, the truck I'm sitting in now is the truck that he has had for about 10 years. He bought this new about 10 years ago. And uh, he, but even this one is too big. He doesn't even like this truck. Um, so he said, I want a smaller one. Nobody makes them. Ford is re-releasing re the, the, uh, the Ranger, the Ford Ranger starting in 2019. Um, but I did a little research on that, and that truck is going to be big too. It's not the Ranger is not going to be small anymore either. Um, and there are millions of people I know that would love a smaller pickup truck. They don't want one of those gigantic, gas guzzling, expensive trucks. Um, but he did find a little '96 Toyota pickup truck that somebody didn't drive much. They kept it in their garage. It has maybe 30,000 miles on it. It looks great. It does, I don't think it even has a scratch on it. It's beautiful. For $3,100, he bought that little um, Toyota pickup truck. So that's what he's driving now. Um, he also has a Sentra that he drives a lot, an older Sentra. He has a lot of vehicles. He's, he loves vehicles. So anyway, after he bought the Toyota truck, he didn't want this truck anymore. And this is a pretty good size. Well, it's not huge, but it's uh, a bigger truck than he would like. So he was going to sell it. So he called me up and said, um, you know, I want to, I want to sell that truck. And he was asking me about different options as far as listing it online. You know, is this a good idea? Should I try this? And we talked about that a little bit. And, uh, and then after we hung up, I got to thinking, you know what? I've never had a truck. I've never, I've never had a truck, and there have been times in my life where I really could have used a truck, you know, to haul stuff, to move stuff. There have been times that I really could have used a pickup truck. I wonder how much, and he didn't tell me how much he was going to ask for this thing. He didn't say how much he wanted for it. Um, but I got to thinking about it, and I talked to my son. I said, what, what would you say if I bought Grandpa's truck? and kept it for a few years, cause he's only 13. I said, what if I kept it for a few years? And then, you know, when you're 16, you can buy it from me. I'm not gonna give it to him, but he can work and we'll work, we'll work out a price and he can, he can purchase it from me. I, I've talked about this before. I'm not gonna give my children cars for various reasons. Um, cause they need to learn to work and pay for things. Uh, not just have it given to them. I think they'd take better care of it if they're actually having to pay for it too. Um, and it teaches them responsibility. I think it's a good, it's a multi-purpose little project. So he said, yeah, that'd be cool. I like, I like that truck. Um, and it is nice. It's really, it's really nice. Um, yeah, it's got 110,000 miles on it and it's, it's, it's 10 years old. Or 11, maybe it's 11. I don't know. Anyway. So I called my dad the next morning. I said, um, how much were you going to ask for that truck? And he said, and he told me, and I said, and he said, but why are you asking? He said, it really depends on who I'm selling it to. I said, well, what if I wanted to buy it? He said, oh, 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 that's different. <laughs> I said, well, I don't want it to be too different. I know I'm, you know, I want you, I don't, I don't want you to get cheated here. I want to pay you a fair price for the truck. So we negotiated and I got, I got the friends and family discount, but it was one that, one that we were both comfortable with for this spiffy truck. And I'm sitting in it with the air conditioner on because it is hot and I'm still sweaty from vacuuming it out. Um, now my dad uses trucks for work. He doesn't have a truck as a fashion accessory like a lot of people. He actually works and he doesn't worry about how his truck looks. He's not worried if it gets a scratch on it or anything. It's not a concern of his at all. But I just spent probably 20 minutes vacuuming this thing out thoroughly. And you know what I discovered? I've actually removed it now. He has these, I don't know if I can even show you. He has these rubber floor mats in here. I, have to, I got a package from a subscriber today. Okay, so we have these, I've got the air on it kind of loud sorry he has these rubber floor mats and I lifted them up and they've been in here the whole time he, he has had this truck um, he bought these rubber floor mats and put them down when he bought it new and they've been in here the whole time I need to spray them down they're very muddy but underneath that are the original floor mats 
and they look like brand new. I mean, it's kind of hard to lift that up, but the original floor mats are in the front and the, and the back, and they're like brand new, and under the original floor mats was the uh, plastic, the, the sticky back plastic that they put in here when it's new that you remove it that protects the upholstery or the, the carpet. That was still down in here and it covered all of this and he never even removed that. He's been driving this thing for 10 or 11 years and he never even removed the, pl <laughs> the plastic. <laughs> so I have ripped up, I, I pulled out the plastic and tried to vacuum it really well. But under these rubber floor mats are the original floor mats which is awesome. I mean, it looks like it's the the carpet and everything almost looks brand new. There's a little stain right there, but um, yeah, he never even bothered to remove the, the plastic protect protective stuff that's on the carpet. <laughs> I told you he doesn't care. He doesn't worry about that kind of stuff. Um, oh, it's a it's a five speed, which I do know how to drive. I drove a stick shift for 20 years, so this is not a problem for me at all. This was an extra benefit. This was an extra bonus because I want both of my kids to learn how to drive a stick shift. So I can work with both of them as they get older. We can work on learning how to drive a, a stick shift. So I think, I think that's a great skill that everyone should have, but most people, especially young people, most young people today don't know how to drive a stick. So I want my kids to learn how to do that. So we have a very basic setup here. Oh, and we have manual you literally have to roll down the windows. See? <laughs> I love it. It's one less thing to break. Um, and that was one of the main things my dad wanted. He said, I want it to be as manual as possible. I don't want any bells and whistles on this truck. I want it to be as simple as possible because the less automated stuff you have, the less trouble you're going to have and the easier it is to fix. And he's right. Um, and this thing is cool too. It has two glove compartments. Like you have one here, and then you have you have another little one there. Which I thought that was kind of cool. And there are all kinds of little places where you can set stuff. There's a little thing up here. There's a little area there that has this rubberized stuff. So I could set my cell phone in there and it won't slide around. And here's a little area here. And you have cup holders that are adjustable like you can pull that part out and make it you know have a larger area to put your drink my dad made this he was telling me about it um, he attached this uh, ring in here and what he was going to do was he was going to take an old pair of jeans and cut a pant leg off and make put like a permanent little trash bag on here and just use the pant leg and this is the frame that the pant leg would go around so he could just kind of lay it in the floor and have a little trash bag that he could take out and empty as he needed it so I thought that was kind of I thought that was kind of cool so I'm, I may still do that actually um so in the back now this is not a four-door but this is a, an extended cab and we have these seats back here I'm gonna show you how these doors work I mean there are no power locks which is fine with me we have these doors here like this and you can open it up like that and so you even have storage here and here these are the original floor mats and the plastic is actually still here I did not remove it but this is what was in the front that plastic there that's from when it was new he doesn't care um, so you have these little seats back here like this it's like little jump seats so you could put some tiny people back there my older son tried to sit back there earlier it was so funny <laughs> Uh, last night we were we took it for a little drive and he tried to sit in the back and he had to turn completely sideways because there was nowhere for his legs to go <laughs> uh, so we have these cute little seats and this little door here like that oh so um I'm going to I'm gonna actually we've worked out a payment plan for me to, to pay him for the truck and uh, so I'm really excited um, I actually have a truck and this is wonderful because I needed to go get some mulch today anyway so now I don't have to use my new car to put it in the trunk I can just put it in the back, the back of my truck here <laughs> I'm so excited um, yeah I've never had a truck but I have one now so um, this is this is really cool I can't I can't tell you the times 
I've wished I had a pickup truck handy because I needed to haul something or move something kind of big or something I didn't want to put in my car. I wished I had a truck. So this is really cool. Um, what else? I love the handles. I, now see, when I'm teaching my kids, my especially my older son, because that will come first, when I'm teaching him how to drive, I have, I always, I'm sorry, I always call these oh shit handles. I have one there and there, so I can hang on for dear life, you know, because especially with him learning how to drive a stick, he's probably going to sling me around in here a lot. Um, and of course, these are not, these are just to help you get in and out. I know that. You don't have to tell me that. I know that. Um, I like this too. I wish my car had this. Okay, so you pull, you pull the, um, the, the visor down. And there's even a piece here you can pull out. Now, I don't know. That's probably common. But I've actually never had a vehicle that had that. So if the sun is right here, you can block it. And this one uh, has it too. So anyway, I'm going to go get about my business. Um, I just, I did want to give you an update on the play button. I haven't forgotten about it. Um, but I got to thinking, you know, I don't have the same address that I had when I started my channel. And where would they get my address anyway? Because when you create a YouTube channel, you don't give them an address or anything, like a home address. Um, but I wanted, I wanted to contact them and make sure. And they said, oh, well, you have to be, you know, you have to go through the qualification process and oh okay cool because not everybody gets them apparently but it's the process has started we are we are on our way and hopefully within three months or less I will have a play button and we will un, we will open it together I'm really excited about that hopefully later today I'm going to get to a video where we're going to open some things from subscribers. This is something I just picked up today from somebody. And I have two more packages. Now, one of them is really big and I'm not I don't know what's in it, but it's it's enormous. And um I'm not really sure how I'm going <laughs> to I don't have to sit on the floor and open it cuz it's it's pretty big. Um but we're going to open the the packages and see what I got. And uh we'll hopefully do some other stuff. So, anyway, thank you so much for watching. And I hope you have a great day and I'll see you again soon.